All right. <clears throat> uh, so anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's been a while since I um, made a video. Um, hopefully, you guys uh, liked the last one. That was kind of it took me a while to to get that one uh, underway. Obviously, I wanted to um, have a lot of a lot of orbs ready for that. So, uh, as you can see up there, um, we're back. We're not well. Obviously, we're not back at that uh, at that amount. But you know, we, we've got a decent amount here. Two hundred and something is. It's pretty good considering you know how much we blew on that uh, on that banner, um, and I want to point out here. So in the video, I didn't get get her this far. Um, let's see, I didn't get her that far because I didn't you know I didn't make enough orbs. But uh, I scrounged a little bit more orbs here and there because um, it was like a, the next day and there was like I think there was a re reset or something. I don't know. I got a few more orbs, just like enough, and I actually and I actually pulled one more, which is the last one I needed because. After this, she only gets one defense and one res for the last merge. Uh, I'm still going to be pulling for that merge eventually at some point, though, whenever she returns. Because uh, I really want that plus 10. Um, it'd be really nice to have uh, my favorite character in this game as a plus 10. Um, yeah, so. There you go. Um, that's the build. I gave her Wind Sweep, obviously. Um, what else? I gave her... Well, let's see, change skills. I also gave her um, Sturdy Impact because I had one lying around. Uh, from If you saw that video, I got two Ingrids, and I was just like, well, I'll just give her one. Uh, just because it could be helpful. Um, at the, you know, I haven't used it a whole lot. Uh, on defense, she's doing pretty well. And I think I'll make a defense video this coming Monday uh, just to see, just to show you guys what the new defense looks like. And, and I don't want to spoil any of that right now. Uh, but you know, other stuff, I guess, since then is like I've got my plus 10 Tharja now. She's still a little underwhelming considering I don't have any flowers into her. Um, yeah, basically, and I think I, I kind of went, I kind of made a mistake going for the plus attack on her. Um, I think if I find another one, hopefully I'll be able to just plus ten or not plus ten. I'll be able to um, uh, give her the the, uh, the speed boon, uh, which would be pretty good. Uh, but other than that, I'm, you know, she's fine. Um, right now, she doesn't have any of the skills I want to put on her. I want to. I need a Lysithia, a Brave Lysithia, so she can take her attack speed push uh, with the uh, lull speed res, and then she'll be basically she'll be perfect. Um, right now, what I'm considering is just leaving her like this and giving her a bonus doubler, uh, just because I'm most of the time I want to run her alongside a um, just a buffer, right? So alongside a what's her name? Specifically in this case, um, what's her name? The um, the dancer. You know, you guys know the one. She's irritating. Uh, I gotta stop uh, blanking on these names. Or is she? Uh, Azura, yeah, Lazara. Um, I want to run her alongside her so that she gets those buffs like to all six, and then if she has all six to the, her to those buffs with the bonus doubler, she'll get plus uh, another plus six on top of that. Which the attack speed push four gives her plus seven, right? If she get if I give her like a uh, 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 what is it a fortify whatever fortify fortify something four, she'll give out plus seven to all stats and then you know I'll make up the bonus doubler will give me the same effect as the attack speed push four without the health redu reduction penalty, uh, but for one I mean you know obviously you can see here my Lazarus not where you know she doesn't have that skill right for one, uh, and two because. Brave, I can get both of those, like the lull and the and the push, in one swoop with Brave Lysithia. Um, I'd rather not waste the bonus doubler trying to, you know, go for that. Though the, one of the bigger problems is bonus doubler in general doesn't have a whole lot of uses. So, um, like if, if it doesn't go, on, if it's not going to go onto Brave Lysithia, then like the the question is who's it going to go on? Or if it doesn't go onto um, Tharja, who's going to go on? Like who's going to benefit from that? So that, that's kind of the point of that. Um, what else? There's not a whole lot else has changed. Uh, I just wanted to make this video, um, talking about some of the new, the new banners we have here and, uh, oh, I guess I didn't pull on this yet. I thought I'd had pulled on all of them. Um, not, these aren't very interesting. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull on them. You, you see, I, I haven't used the tickets yet, so that's, that'll be for that. Uh, I guess we can talk about this. We can look at this. So basically you should be pulling on red here. Like if you're gonna pull on this banner, pull on red and, and I mean, that's basically it. There's nothing else here. Uh, you can pull on blue, but I think Peony is the only one that has any value here. And like I said before, getting more mergers on my Peony isn't really going to help anything. Um, 
this guy isn't very useful. I mean, a lot of people like him. I mean, he's annoying when you fight him when he, somebody runs into you and he's got like a plus ten and you know on defense on no, on offense they like run in with their plus ten uh, Dimitri and he's just unkillable and you know whatever goes on from there, right? Um, so he's he, that in that sense he's really irritating, right? But unless you're gonna like max invest into him and have him be like your mega tank or whatever, I mean, it's not really worth having just one copy or a few copies of him. He doesn't do very much other than just kill everything and not die. Uh, but the other thing is, the only thing I would want from him would be these two skills, which you can, I think you should be able to inherit, right? This is one skill, and you just need the attack defense bond, one to three, and then whatever comes before this, and then just inherit this. So you can take both of these, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, I mean, for fodder, he's awesome, so you can pull on blue for that. The only problem is this guy's kind of a dud on blue. Um, this spear is pretty good, but it's just like... Why would I pull for this? Uh, I, I mean, at least my account. I mean, if you need this, then by all means, right? But I, I don't really think wasting orbs for a fortress res defense is going to be very useful considering not many people can use it effectively. Um, so blue is all right. It's kind of in the middle. Um, green, however, I, my my first color is going to be red and then green and then blue and then uh, colorless at the end. Uh, green is second, not because of fodder. There's not a whole lot of good fodder in here. Um, except for flyers, I mean, this is excellent fodder getting the attack speed push for here and then the um, speed defense rank. But I already got one, so I don't really need it, mind you. So, you know, but if you, if you need that, then there you go. This is excellent fodder. And not to mention, Jill's also very good, um, very good attacking unit. She just gets free um, desperation from her weapon and, you know, she kills everything. Like, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to understate how strong she is. And then, you know, Moonbow is at a one. So she's going to double before they get to counterattack and the second attack is going to have the special charge. So there you go. Um, I guess we'll, we'll start with her as, as the green. So that so that's that. Um, fodder. I'm, I'm probably not going to use her as that because I don't have like I don't use a lot of characters like that. Like very good attackers. Like I don't use like Scythias, Ophelias, Brave Lysithias, or just like anybody who's like designed to just get in there and kill a guy and then probably die right after. I mean I don't really I can't afford to have characters like that. Um, I need them to be able to do more than just that. And she kind of can, right? I'm not going to say she can't because she's got a pretty solid defense and she, so she can survive physical stuff, but no one's running pure physical where you just go in there, kill somebody, and then there you go, my defense is going to save me. It's, it's not, you know, it's usually a, a decent mix, so it's not really worth it. On defense, she could be all right. Um, yeah, she can hit pretty hard on defense, but I already have not only, not only, like I already have a plus 10 Camilla and I have a plus 10 um, Young Minerva, so it's like not very worth it. Um... Edelgard, I don't have this. I don't have any Edelgards, actually. Yeah, I don't have any. Uh, even though she's like my favorite out of, out of the three uh, lords or generals or whatever. I haven't played that game, so sorry <laughs> for those of you who are fans of that game. Um, but out of those three from, from three houses, she's my favorite one. So um, be nice to get one. If not, you know, whatever. It's fine. Again, she doesn't have a whole lot of fodder. I mean, she's got this, but nobody uses this and, and like that, right? So it's not really worth foddering her off. I would just rather have her. Uh, but it's not very useful to the to the account because she'll just be sitting there just like a as an object. <laughs> as unfortunately uh, misogynistic as that is. Um, next here we have um, what's her name? Celica. Uh, I like the Celica. It'd be pretty cool. Again, she's one of those units that just kind of goes in there, like hits someone really hard, and then just kind of dies afterwards if you can't get her out in time. Um, but I, I, I like her design. I like um, I just like Celica. I like this. I like her as a green mage here. Uh, she's pretty cool. She has the the res thing that um, Alm has. I don't know why she has Miracle. I'm not entirely sure. Well, maybe that could be useful. Uh, but this thing is ridiculous. Um, it's like Null Seed Disrupt with a um, Desperation built in, <laughs> which is kind of dumb. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Desperation. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, if I get Celica again, I want her just to have her there and just like as a kind of a thing, right? So... Not wholly useful. So like I said, red is really the most important one here. We'll go over it right now. Uh, of course, if you're looking for more defensive power, um, Bram don't look no further than Bramimond. He's going to be very strong on defense. Uh, you really have to consider uh, him there all the time. Like If you find him on defense, you have to think about playing around him, what's going on, what he's doing here, and, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, not much else to say. He's got attack push, attack defense push four, which is good because he's got, uh, it helps patch up his defense. So he's at 28, 35. Um, and then, you know, 28, so he's at 31 because of the lull. You're dropping their attack by three. Uh, and then there's this, which gives him another five. So, I mean, he's just kind of dumb. Like, he's the definition of, like, just, just, just build everything into him. Like, who needs speed when you can just uh, make him double because of his weapon, right? Like, he, he's just really loaded. 
Um, so, you know, there you go. He, he's, he's, he's excellent on defense. Uh, but I don't really need him. I have a flyer ball. Um, if I were to have one, I could replace... If I got him, I would probably replace Sothis because he's like 10 times more useful than Sothis and then have uh, Summer Byleth give him the ground orders effect. So then he just kind of moves around like a flyer uh, and then helps nuke really hard. I mean, that, that's a pretty good strategy. I'm not going to pull for that specifically, but like I'm saying, it's very good. You can, you, can, you can do that. It's better than just having a useless character. So there you go. Uh, as you guys... Have I shown that already? I don't think I have shown that. I've, I've kind of retired Duma. He's not on defense anymore. Um, his ability to just one-shot a, a building is just really good, but it's not really worth the the lack of mobility and like the general like uselessness compared to like the whole flyer ball. Considering, like I said, I you know the whole thing is a flyer ball. It's, it's hard to put that. Granted, ground orders did go uh, quite a ways to like alleviate that, but it's just not worth. Um, hopefully, we get more like. Just better on anima anima heroes. I mean, Mirabilis is already pretty excellent, um, but you know we'll see we'll see where it goes. Uh, and then Claude, he's excellent on defense, uh, excellent on offense, but you kind of have to plus ten him, and then you know you won't be able to use this fury. Uh, this is obviously pretty good. Um, you got to make sure he's got IO shield if you want to do that. Basically, you can use him the way I use Boki, only you know like Boki sucks, and <laughs> he doesn't, right? So um, that's kind of the advantages of Claude. I mean, it, there's nothing else to say. I, if you wanna, if you want to, like that's the most solid, like plus ten, you know, colorless archer CC vantage unit. Like there you go, right? He can run dead eye or ruptured sky. I, I would prefer ruptured sky because then at that point you have effectiveness against dragons. So you can run ruptured sky at a one turn cooldown, and then they attack into you. So when you retaliate, it's charged. Um, then you got close counter here. You can run vantage here, and then you know you can run this if you want, or, or de speed defense rain. Um, and then lastly, you got IO Shield here, and then, you know, this ridiculous weapon of one, all the stuff he gets. Um, he's got his own healing, too, so he can do damage while healing, where the problem with, like, a Boki is that she's kind of locked into however much damage she can do, and the special gets, you know, not only that, the special gets reduced because you're running whatever, the other one. Um, so, you know, this is a, if you want to invest into that, but I mean, look at this guy, I, do you, <laughs> would you invest, would you want a plus 10 him? Uh, I wouldn't personally, so that's kind of why I don't really care. So colorless, no. Uh, red is the focus. <sighs> do I want Lilina? I, I most definitely do not. I mean, one copy would be fine as long as I get a couple of the other two, but I'm probably not going to. I'm just going to get one of her and then you know blow all 200 orbs and <laughs> be done with it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really want her. She's just a cav nuker, which is like, whatever. Um, this has abilities, it, it hits really hard, and, I mean, you know, this, sh she's unkillable to other mages, okay, whatever, I mean, it's fine. Um, and I don't want to fodder her off either, because, like, this stuff isn't really worth foddering. The only thing she has that's excellent is Pulse Smoke, which, you know, a lot of units need that, but it's not really worth pulling for her specifically. But, obviously, we're pulling for, uh, Regan to have more, uh, merges. Yeah, that's basically it, she just, uh, she just has more merges and, um, you know, hopefully get more lift. So, that's all there is to it. Um, you really want to... Like, it was hard for me to decide whether I should replace this with um, Gale Force, but I think Gale Force is just way too strong not to. Um, you're taking way too much movement and way too many turns without um, with Gale Force on. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's about all there is to it. Hopefully I get a uh, plus speed or plus attack one, because I, I still have... I only have the neutral one from the um, whatever, so it is what it is. And uh, then you put... Uh, Quick and pulse down here, and you can probably change this to either um, whatever pulse smoke or, or leave it as that. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, not much else to say. She's just a really strong unit. Um, she takes thirty percent damage reduction. I already forgot about this effect that she takes reduced damage when she uh, initiates. Um, but yeah, so she's just a pretty encomp encompassing unit. But and not not only that, like you're gonna have her on every Astra offense because she gives you an extra unit. Um, so until we get another one, she's we're kind of you know, you're using her basically. So, uh, and then lastly, Plumeria. I don't have a Plumeria. I didn't pull that time. Uh, I said I didn't need her at the time, and I kind of didn't. But then as more time went on, uh, I've really begun to miss not having her because of the speed imprint or whatever the uh, imprint, right? The um, the speed boost from her blessing, uh, and then just overall, she's just really good. Like the fact that she gives plus attack plus res goes really well with Gangrel, which I started building. I've only got him at a plus two because that's all the ones we, we were given. 
Um, so I'm just kind of him. I'm not going to use Grails on him. I'm just going to wait till he comes back on the GHB and then, um, yeah, and then basically just kind of wait a while and then, and then I might use Grails later on to help fin to help top him off. But for now, I'm not going to spend any Grails on him. Um, but yeah, I mean, Plumeria, she gives out speed and my units are, are starting to get outsped a little bit more often. So the speed is going to help with that. Um, on top of the fact that like if you're running, like I said, if you're running the Broadleaf fan, this is actually pretty good because you just drop everybody by three or by four. So that's already 12 damage for the Broadleaf fan um, without even breaking a sweat. Uh, plus she gets plus three to everything, which is pretty cool. So, um, and then there's this. So you can kind of replace, basically the problem is I'm going to replace my... Um, What's her name? Uh, Tethys. I might I might end up replacing Tethys with her. Because she can dance, give these debuffs and all that stuff. And then plus a minus seven, which is pretty good. Um, so we'll, we'll see where, where this goes. Hopefully we, we pull at least one of each. Um, but I kind of doubt that. So uh, let's pull on the, uh, the this, this other New Year's banner first. We'll see what we get out of here. Um, who is most valuable here? She's got close counter, so automatically I think uh, I'm going to have to pull on her. This guy doesn't have anything. You don't have anything either. And you don't have anything either. So we're going for red here. Not that we're going to get her, but uh, better than not. Wow, I can't believe that. So there you go. Um, this is already starting off pretty well. Um, that's pretty cool. I mean, of course, uh, I, I made a plus 10... 10 Tharja for a reason. I really like Tharja's design. I like, I mean, <laughs> obviously I do, right? Um, I liked her hex and, you know, a Christmas version is still pretty cool. You know, more than cool, I guess, really. Um, the Candelabra, there's a lot of people inherit this to people, but it's like, it's not really worth it to me, but there you go. So, <laughs> we're starting off pretty well. Oh, let's go pull on these. So here, what do I want from here? I need... Him. I need him because I need this specifically, and I don't want to pull it out of the ephemeral shop, so uh, we're going to pull all three on blue this time. Uh, let's go here. Let's see if we get him. Let's see if we get... Um... Nope. <laughs> see, I wanted to see if our luck uh, carried over again. Uh, so let's go back and stop. Uh, we need blue, but if not blue, we'll take green. Just because I like... Um... Tacho says Fa, but I, I think it's. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not gonna. Doubt, I mean, he probably he plays these games more than I do, so I mean, I wouldn't doubt him. But I always say Fay just because that's what it kind of says to me. And and like if you play what's that what's that game? Um, <sighs> Kingdoms of Amalur, Reckoning. They're the 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 fairy folk there are not really called fairies. They're called Fay or not the elf people aren't called elves. They're called Fay. They're kind of elf fairy mixture hybrids, uh, almost. Uh, but there you go. There's Fae, or Fa, I guess, as some people refer to her as. as. Uh, plus attack. That's pretty cool. She's got glittering breath. I already have one of her from the um, ephemera shop, the red ones. Uh, but you know, it's good to have another one, just because I like the character. Um, so there you go. Uh, never gonna be ungrateful for that. Uh, let's try one more. See if we. Oh, so you get. Uh, yeah, I just realized you get four. Because the first one in the tickets, so let's pull another blue. Uh, Jagan. Jagan looks so weird all the time. His art is kind of odd. It's very like watercolory. It, it doesn't match the rest of the things. The the bottom line. Let's see. It'd be crazy if I actually got him. Yeah. Um. So there you go. Uh, I needed that attack defense solo so I can inherit every, inherit everything from the. Yeah. From. What's his name? <laughs> I forgot what his name was. Um, Shinon onto my Norn, but uh, we'll have to worry about that later. This one, I think I'm pulling on green mainly because uh, she's got disencounter, and I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna fodder her off. I mean, this is pretty good, honestly. Uh, I'm probably not gonna fodder her off though because I just like Sothis, and you know, different variants of Sothis would be nice to have. Um, Joint Hone Speed is pretty good for scoring, so I mean, Colorless is probably is a good option too. I already have one of her, and I'd rather not have another one. Uh, and I really don't want this guy. What does this weapon do? Yeah, it just heals him. Okay. Uh, so we're pulling for green here, and then colorless, uh, if not green. Uh, green. Uh, I like this one a lot, because if 
I'm pulling on green. There's a chance to get a Kidna, which I knew I do need more Kidna merges. Uh, my Echidna is plus six, I think, right now. Um, I think I said this in another video, but it's really sad having <laughs> building up my Echidna, like just spending resources on her because it's like she's never going to be as good as Hannah. So it's like, what am I doing? Um, but yeah, I mean, I already said I was on a plus ten, or so I'll just get her to the plus ten, um, and then go from there, kind of. What do I do? I need anything? There was a time where like all I needed was colorless. Uh, but not anymore, so I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's interesting when you when you think about like your your time playing. Uh, what do we need? Green? Yeah. Your time playing, like what what you're pulling on and what you hate seeing. Like there was a time where at the beginning when I first started, like red was like the one thing I needed the most of. So like I always wanted more red orbs. Um, and as you get sort of further into the game, you realize that red is not really a good place to summon because there's not really any that many good red units. Uh, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna pull on red, except for like stuff like this, and we got three red, uh, three red things here. So let's go ahead and pull three of them. Uh, there's uh, older Sheeta. Let's pull this red. <laughs> there's another Sheeta. I don't know if it's Sheeta or, or Keita. I always like. It's always weird when you say things in your brain and then like you say them out loud. In my mind, I always said like Kaida, like Kaida, uh, but it sounds better in your brain than you actually say it. And then that's why I started saying Shida because it sounds easier. It's a little easier. To, it comes out a little easier and it sounds a little better um, than what I had. Uh, we are going to pull this red and then pull the blue, the green. Yeah, we're gonna pull the green over there. If not one of the if not one of the, the yeah, hopefully I was hoping for an echidna, if not one of the whatevers, but that's fine. So stop, and we should have 8.5 after this. Uh, appearance rates, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so so no, nothing so far, and this is horrible. Uh, green, blue, or colorless? We'll go in blue here. Let's see if we get a peony. Funnily enough, like I said, the only thing that uh, blue has in terms of fodder is going to be um, Dimitri with that uh, with the attack defense unity. But like the the funny thing is, it's like it's just a good skill, but I don't have anyone to put it on. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't have anyone who could use that. So hopefully we get three reds here because we're we're at two. Nope. So hopefully we pull this one here and then we get another red, another two reds later. Yeah. Let's get back. Uh, wow, I can't believe I forgot about that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, let's just get back in here. You notice up there on the right, I don't have the... Um, uh, we are looking for... This is horrible. Uh, let's Hopefully we don't get this pity broken. Oh, well. That's pretty nice. Uh, I wanted the Celica, of course. I mean, look at her. She just <laughs> looks so good in this uh, in this artwork. Um, I'm just gonna pull the rest of these. Let's actually see what uh, IVs we got. Oof, that's horrible. Yeah, you want speed or uh, attack on her? Let's just uh, favorite her real quick. Uh, this isn't really worth doing because it's only eight point five. Like you want to do that when you have like a nine or ten or you know around around ten, right? Because uh, that way, um, like it's a high pity, and you have a chance that like you got multiple uh, five stars there. Um, but there's really a small, there's really little to no chance that I got anything out of this. But um, at this point, I'm just like, if my pity is already gonna reset, I'm just gonna pull these four to get them ready for the next uh, the next circle, so I can get the pity rate higher because it still counts. So since it reset at the first one, I now have four four summons done to increase the pity for um, up to nine, right? So that's kind of the point there. Uh, there we go. So let's do this. So so this this I can prove it to you here. So it, it should be back to 8.5 now after the summoning circle because I did four there plus these two is six, right? Which is one over, but it's still the, it, the basic rules apply, right? Let's go back. Stop. So right here, right, 
So right there, it's 8%, as you saw there. Um, now we can check here, right? So those four we did before carried over. So now we're um, at six. So we need four more to get to nine. Uh, so we'll do these two and then we'll leave. And of course we got the one we didn't want to get, um, which is fine. Um, yeah, so there's that. I mean, all I need from this, Regan, more Regan copies would be nice, but the only thing I need from this is at least one Plumeria, and then my score can increase on Astra Season. And I can almost guarantee you I'm not going to get a single Plumeria out of this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's what you get for complaining. You get what you want. Um, I forgot what I was summoning on last time where I was complaining and immediately that's what I, <laughs> I got what I wanted. Um, so that's pretty cool. There we go. So, I mean, we're basically after this, it's all profit. Um, and fortunately, I got a plus speed, which is pretty good because it means uh, she can actually, like, if she wants to hit someone, she can actually fight against people and hit them pretty hard. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically, it's all profit after this. Um, I do want more merges. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Um, let's let's roll it again. See what happens. Another racing. I really wish it was the other way around, where racing was the five star. And uh, I'm just gonna pull this little circle for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, racing was the five star, and the his sister was the four star. <laughs> I mean, I think we all wish that. Um, but of course, I mean, the waifu tax. She had to be the five star. Um, but yeah. Uh, the reason I, I kind of pull these sometimes, because like, like I said, we're, whatever we get after this is fine. Um, and this, these are cheaper, right? This was like a four, four, and a three, which is better than having to pull like one at a time, all of them for fives, right? That's fifteen. Here's four, four, eight, uh, eleven, right? So I saved four orbs, and I got three towards the pity, right? So that's kind of the, the idea there. Um. Uh, I guess I could talk about, so we're, I got three, so this is four. I guess I can talk about uh, the changes we got to Aether Raids. I think it's very interesting because we haven't seen anything from Acarus, at least because I don't watch his YouTube channel or his uh, Twitch streams or anything like that. I'm just going to pull these two and get out of here. I don't watch his Twitch, stream, his Twitch streams or anything like that. I'm just going to pull these other two greens. I mean, why not? Like I said, everything after this is profit. Um, I don't watch his Twitch streams or anything like that, so I don't know what he's been doing or who he's been up to or what he's been talking about or, or what you know what things he's addressed or anything like that. But it's just weird that like we haven't seen any videos from him despite all the crazy stuff that's been happening. All, well, it's not that crazy, but like all the stuff that's been coming out, you think he'd like offer some kind of thoughts, but I wonder if he's like. And maybe you guys can tell me this in the comments, those of you who actually follow his channel more closely. Um, like what's going on with him? Like is he like I imagine he's still playing, but maybe is he not as successful? Because I've been finding it a lot harder to stay in tier twenty seven recently. And granted, I'm not as good as he is, but I wonder if he's also finding a similar thing. And there's another thing that's also kind of an annoying me about um Faye recently. I think it should be nine after this, right? There's another thing that's beginning to grate on me more and more about Faye recently, uh, specifically Aether Raids. There's like Hopefully I get nine after this. Um, there's like, it's hard to have a defense that isn't just a cav line. Like this is, this is what I think, this is why I think maybe we've seen less content from him is because like, he's a higher level than me, obviously. Um, he makes it like, we both kind of like, I barely make it in tier 27 and he's probably, you know, at the upper end, like you know, upper middle end of, of tier 27. Right. Um, the point being that he's going to fight against tougher opponents than I am. So we're at nine and we got nothing here. So he's going to fight against tougher opponents than I am on, on average. And what I think like for me, when I, cause sometimes you, you go up and down, right? Sometimes you, you're like, okay, well I lost the defense uh, and, and my, uh, my lift went down. So I'm going to fight against weaker opponents, right? Cause if your defense wins all the time and you fight against other people and you win on offense and defense, you're going to go higher than someone who wins all their offenses but loses half of their defenses. Kind of like I... Oh, there's another one. Kind of like me, right? I All my offenses are basically perfect. I mean, they're not all perfect because I use the escape ladder sometimes. But, you know, whenever... Theoretically, mathematically, in the score ranking, it's like I never mess up, right? Because the, the escape ladder helps me when I do mess up, right? So that's, that's kind of... What the, that's the point I want to make. So basically, we can take a look at my offenses and they're theoretically perfect because I usually get all the pots and everything recently anyways it's getting a little harder but 
Um, basically, the only difference is I use up more um, more escape ladders than I used to. But anyway, yeah, I make it into tier 27 under those conditions, right? So I'm on the little, a little bit on the lower end. I can't make it to tier 28 because I don't have. There's a lot of stuff that you need to get to tier 28 now. You need to have a bunch of defense mythics, which I don't. I only have one, one, um, one Mirabilis on defense, and then um, one Sothis on defense on the other, the other end. And then you have to have a lot of uh, merges. I don't have a single plus 10 um, Astra mythic, which is kind of a problem. But you know, it is what it is. Anyway, the point being, he is going to consistently fight against higher tier people. What I think is a problem is that whenever I notice where it's like, oh, I didn't lose any lift and I'm and I got perfect yesterday, so now I gotta fight against someone who also did that today, and that's gonna be a tougher match. I see that a lot of the times those tougher matches are usually just against cav lines. And it's becoming more and more irritating to me that like the higher you go, really the only thing that survives up there is gonna be a cav line. You can almost guarantee. Which it's 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 like it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like it just kind of saddens me that like there's so much stuff in this game in the Aether Raids like setup that just kind of pushes everything to like the black hole of like Cavline is the only end game strategy for defense, which is kind of sad to me. Now, is that 100% true? No, obviously it's not 100% true. It's not like Cavline is the end all be all to like all um, are uh, Aether Raids defense. It's not what I'm saying. But I am saying there does seem like a, a really hardcore push towards there because like. You can make a unit so tanky, an individual unit so tanky and unkillable, that nothing matters. The reason Cavline is so good is because it doesn't have to worry about like, oh, I, that guy made a plus 10 um, Bector or Bike, or, you know, Bike or Bector, either one. Made a plus 10, whatever, and now he's unkillable. And, you know, there's nothing my whole unit, my whole team of six guys or six units can do against something like that, right? There's units like that where it's like you can make them so unstoppable that whole six team, no matter how, like, plus 10 everything, can do barely nothing to them. Um, the th that, that's the point, is, is you can make a unit that strong, so the only remedy is to make, like, a cav line that can just circumvent that by running around and sniping all the other weak units. Because while you can make one individual unit that strong, you can't really make... Okay. Uh, so I actually do remember where I was, what I was talking about beforehand. Um... Kind of, um, not exactly, but yeah, anyway. I don't mean to assume, and I was talking about um, going further in AAR where like the higher, more dominant strategy is going to be uh, cav line. Um, I don't mean to assume, you know, I don't even know if he's gotten to tier 28. Um, talking about Acris again. I don't know if he's actually gotten to tier 28 uh, consistently or, or what's going on with that, but one of my suspicions is that like, like, now that we have new tier, a new tier, right? We have AR, you know, the the, thir the thirty levels, right? Up there, thirty eight, tier thirty seven, and tier thirty eight. Um, I think it's it's kind of annoying because it's like you're working harder to get up there, and then what your, what is your reward for getting up there? Fighting, um, you know, fighting cav lines day after day. Like they're not. In front of you who've ever gone up against one, in front of you who ever um, built one, you know, on both ends they're not very entertaining. Like they're not fun to play against. Uh, there's no real strategy behind like taking them down. It's just kind of like, well, I got to position my buildings in such a way that I don't get hit. Not everybody gets hit, and the few people who can get hit can take the hit and then hit back. And there you go, right? There's not a whole lot of strategy behind fighting against cav lines, and there's not a whole lot of strategy towards building cav lines. It's just kind of like make sure you have enough distribution between them, and then whatever cavs you're good to go, and then just there you go. Um, but anyway, yeah, that, that's kind of my 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 take on that is. <laughs> Going further in AR, I feel like something needs to be done about Cavline, considering how prevalent Cavline is, where it's just like the end-all, be-all solution. It's kind of just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get higher and not lose. Well, I'll just build a Cavline. Um, because like I said, like you can run a Bector, but are you going to run your whole six team? Cause, and, and this is one of the things where it's like systemically kind of, not broken right, but systemically built in to make Cavlines succeed more than more often than not. And we got nothing here. Uh, make Cavline succeed more often than not is the idea that like now more than ever. So now we have six units, right? We have uh, potentially if you're running Regan and, and we don't have the light unit yet, so it's still five on light. Uh, but you're running, you're running, you're running the Regan and four other and three other um, Astra units. To take that for example. So Regan, Plumeria, Naga, and uh, Altina. So that's four units are taken up by that. Only 
like Altina can tank things. That's even like a maybe. Like she's not even very good at tanking things. Like half the time she dies to like uh, uh what's her name? Thurseer, right? Half the time she dies to a Thurseer, someone she has elemental advantage of over with like forty something res. You know what I mean? Like unless you're running the, I, I run her on the um, deflect magic for that specific reason. But that's kind of my point is that like you're running those four units and like none of them can tank. Plumeria can't really tank unless it's like mages, but like, you know, they usually have double coverage. So there's a, a physical there somewhere. Uh, you're running Regan, which isn't really going to tank anything. Um, Altina, who can like barely tank against a, a high end, um, against the high end, uh, what's it called? I guess a high end team, a high end uh, cav line. She's not going to be able to tank anything. Uh, and then you've got the Naga, who of course isn't going to be able to tank anything either. So that's four units who can't tank anything. You have one unit who can maybe tank everything, which is probably going to be like your vectors or your bikes. Uh, and then like one extra unit that's the bonus unit, or no, not anymore. If you have four Astra units, then um, one of them is going to be on the rotation, so you don't have to worry about that. You have another. So basically, maybe two units can tank at most, right? Like. Eh, I don't know. That, that, it's not to complain or not to say that, like, um, Aether Raids is, like, going down. Like, it, it, like it's just bad now or anything. It's nothing like that. It's just the, the simple point that, um, it's just a simple point that, at the end of the day, the way Aether Raids is set up encourages, uh, cab lines, like, to a pretty drastic degree. Um, the question is, you know, it's not even like a problem that's easily solved either. Like, like what are, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to stop making calves? No, that's ridiculous. Are you going to like, oh, we're just going to stop power creeping calves? No, there's nothing you can do about that. Um, it's just kind of irritating considering like, I mean, I don't know what kind of person, like it'd be kind of strange to see what kind of person actually enjoys the cav line meta. Like, like, what does that look like? What kind of a person just sits there and like, takes joy in, in making a cav line or fighting against cav lines you know what i mean like anybody who has a cav line these days I, I like to think hopefully right most people most of us who have cav lines i don't have a cav line i mean i could if i wanted to but you know most people who have a defensive cav line not that not that you can have an offensive cav line i guess you could but you'd be uh, losing lift but anyway uh most people who run a defensive cav line run it because you have to not because it's like the most fun to watch the replays. You just sit there and go, oh, well, I guess that guy tanked the damage and went through and or whatever, right? Like, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. Um, not to say that, like, like my flyer ball, obviously I'm not like some, some, uh, some guy who's like, oh, oh awesome, perfect. I'm some guy who's like, oh, you know, my flyer ball is, is pure. It's like, I run it for the same reasons, right? I run a flyer ball because I want to win the same way a person who runs a cab line wants to win. Um, Right, I mean, we're all we're all very similar in that sense, right? So, so I'm not gonna sit here and like get on a get on my cab and start looking down on everyone else because I have a flyer ball or anything. No, nothing like that. It's just that I, I find most other strategies more interesting than just like I can't move because calves have ridiculous range and you've got all the best calves, right? Like uh, he went, you know, you just don't skip leg day, right? You just got calves the size of like boulders. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's kind of, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'll just leave it, you know without getting you know i don't want to complain too much about it or anything like that it's just that um i find it interesting that because to me thanks to how prevalent cav lines are the game is beginning to get a lot more stale on aether raids which is the only mode i play this for um and i wonder if that is reflected in the fact that we don't see a whole lot of accurate videos anymore for a while now um and that that's that's the only thing i wanted to say was that observation was like does because he's a higher level, and at a higher level, he's going to see more cav lines. Like I only, I only see like maybe fifty percent cav lines these days, and half the time I use my uh, escape ladder on them because there's really nothing I can do against that. Um, a lot of times, sometimes it's like they're really poorly developed cav lines, so it's like, you know, one unit can tank the cav, and then everyone else is like strangely out of range for some reason, and then I just kind of clean them all up. Uh, but then you have like dancers, and you've got things like um, Veronica now has a more uh, now has a considerably stronger weapon and it's just like it's just not entertaining in the least uh, but i'll be back and i'll go fix this okay uh, so i think we should probably move on from from that because it's getting dangerous dangerously close to um 
sounding like I'm just complaining, uh, which I kind of, I mean, obviously it, that is what that is, is complaining. Um, but I think there is some basis to it in, in terms of like the survivability of long-term, the long-term survivability of Aether, of Aether raids. Because like I said, I mean, how many people actually enjoy watching and building and playing against cav lines, right? Like, uh, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, like I said, I don't know what's going on with Acarus. I don't know what, why he hasn't made any videos. Um, he's probably... Like I said I don't watch his Twitch, so you know you could probably watch over there, and maybe everything's just going normally. Um, but I did I did find it weird um, watching him go through phases of like uploading and not uploading. Um, and I feel like right now it's getting to the point where it's like that's that might be one of the reasons why. But it is what it is. Um, what was the other thing? I guess uh, one. I guess a, another. I mean, a question that might come up is is why specifically blow all my orbs on this banner? Um, and that's because I don't really have any more like. I'm at the point where any units that I want are all in Grail, are in the Grail shop, right? Like, there's no, like, units I want to summon for. I already got my favorite unit um, in, like, the whole game, which is the Summer uh, summer Violet. Um, so, I mean, why not just blow them all on this is just uh, is the main point to that, right? Like, just, you know, I need, I need more merges for Mythics, and here they are. There's two merges on the same color um, that I'm not getting any of, of course. Well, I got two plumerias. So it's not that I'm, I shouldn't complain that way. Uh, but I also got two, uh, two Lolinas, which is kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, there's no banner that's going to come out that's like, oh, it's going to have units that I really need. Or any skills. I mean, all my units that I need are, are already built up, right? Like, everybody's got what they need. Um, and going forward, I mean, I could just save orbs again until I have... Let's go back here. Until I have enough to just pity, you know, whatever comes out later, and those usually have good skills on them. Um, so it's not a whole lot that's like sucking the or the orbs out of me. Um, at this point now, like all I have to do is wait for, you know, a mythic banner, a legendary banner, after legendary banner to to pull, uh, and hopefully get merges on the things I need so I can climb and aether raids. Hey, there we go. I, was, I needed another Regan. Let's go see what she has. Actually, I looked at I, I didn't look at the the IVs for the second Plumeria until I went back into the barracks to go do that right now. Uh, and that second Plumeria also has another speed. Ah, this is garbage. I might just keep the neutral one then. I'll merge her into the neutral one. But uh, what was I saying? The Plumeria also has a, they're both they're both speed uh, imprint. They're both speed uh, boon, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That's all I wanted was a uh, at least one Plumeria and one Regan. So I got. Basically, two Plumerias, two Lolinas, and one Regan, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's just spend all the... Well, do I have? Yeah, I should have enough to do this whole circle here. We have a 9%, and uh, this is the last few I'm going to summon, so that's fine. Uh, who do I want from Colorless? I would really like a Bramimond. Like I said, I, I'm not like too... Like, I'm not going to summon because of Bramimond, but like it'd be nice to have one. Uh, that's a dude, right? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, he's a dude. It was very interesting. It feels like every gacha game has to have like a trap in there. It's really weird. It's weird. It's like like it's like Forrest is just kind of out of the way. He's not like central, right? It's weird that like in Fate, and it's probably not Fate's fault. Like it's probably just the the fan base has made Astolfo what he is. Um, but like I play. I mean, I think most of us are not most of us, but a few of us play Epic Seven, and Epic Seven has um has what's his name. I don't know his name. Aether. Has Aether, and he's like a very prominent, like, in your face kind of uh, thing in that game. Uh, so I thought that was kind of weird. And then, you know, you've got things like, uh, what was the other one? Like, Genshin has a lot of them. Like, Venti has his own storyline. Um, who else? I think Sucrose might. Uh, wait, no, Sucrose is a girl. There's another one. I forgot. I forget. The, you know, I haven't played Genshin in a while. Um, but anyway, it just feels like if you're going to have a, a gacha game, you better have a trap in there somewhere. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, so there's that. But I guess the point is that Faye has been pretty good about it because that, that guy, uh, Forrest, hasn't wasn't added until like this year, I think, right? I mean, very late, and there wasn't until he got here. I don't think there was anyone like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else was I gonna go? What else could I go over now? Yeah, like I said, I mean, there's not a whole lot of units I need to summon other than like you know new skills that come out. But like, like I said. Most of the skills I need are I need them for for, for flyers because I run flyers and it's like there's not a whole lot of skills that are coming out like that like yeah I don't mean I don't know I mean the only other thing I need is like a spurn for my plus ten Hannah but 
again, like a lot of this stuff you can wait on, right? There's no reason to pull now. Like they'll eventually come out or you might just get one kind of like by chance off of a random pull somewhere, right? So like I need Spurn for Hannah, but like Hannah's not going to be plus 10 for a long time, right? Like I need, um, well, I don't really know what else I need right now. I mean, like I said, I need Brave Lysithia for, uh, to fodder her off to Tharja, but like I don't have a need for Tharja right now. I mean, it's just useful and I'm building here just as a you know pet project, but like she's not needed, right? So there's a lot of stuff that I could use and certainly would be helpful, but there's not a whole lot of stuff that it's like, oh, I'm, I'm in urgent need of. Uh, other than like, like I said, the Plumeria was great to was great to finally have her um, there and all that. Uh, so now apparently I've got a uh, a plus one Lilina. Uh, not sure what to do with her. Just she's just gonna sit there. Um, yeah, I mean it's not really a whole lot else. Uh, I I guess I kind of like her. Does she have? She's related to Roy in some way, right? I don't remember from the Binding Blade, which is I think Roy's main game. I don't know, but anyway, uh, that's the only <laughs> that's the only remarkable thing is like Roy. I'm finally glad I got a, uh, a Celica. I've been really wanting one. Uh, a, a plus speed would have been uh, a lot better, but that's all right. I mean, she's already got like Swift Sparrow, so that's quite, that's quite a lot of speed to begin with. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, what else is there? I mean, that's 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 about it really. I wanted to kind of like do quite a bit here just because I haven't made a video in a while and, and kind of talk about a few things. Um. We'll talk about, uh, I'll make a separate video talking about Aether Rays and all that stuff later. Um, see how we're doing. I think it's either, is it this week or next week that you get thrown into the top 30, whatever, the, the, the new the new Aether Raids tiers. One thing I do want to point out, I guess, as a last thing here, let's just get in there, I guess. I don't, I'm not going to spoil anything by being in here. Um, yeah, I have an attack today because I was going to summon today because you know now I can have the Plumeria on my team and hopefully get more. Let's go see how that changes my lift. I'm raiding party. Advanced, let's go back to rarity. <laughs> uh, where is Plumeria? I'm going to replace you with her. So let's go find, there she is. One sixty two. I actually went down. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, where are we going here? Wait, what happened to... There she is. What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why that went down. Huh. Let's replace Naga with her, I guess. Let's see what happens. 162. That's very strange. I wonder, I'm not sure why, what that means. It's, I wonder if it's like, does this level affect this? Yeah, I don't know how this stuff works. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure this out later. Um, but yeah, she's gonna be in this like slot, I guess. You're gonna be in the empty, in the whatever bonus slot. That's, that's very odd. I wonder why that is. Let's go back to Plumeria. 162, then I, like right there, I just, it's over. I don't know how the, how this lift crap is calculated. It might be that this last character doesn't count towards your lift, which let's go put, um, right. So do merge. So um, I'll have to figure this out later. There you go. I mean, <laughs> I, guess, I mean, if anything that, that that's helpful to to all of you, like, you can make it this high in in, in you can make it to, to the top tiers of of Aether Raids without actually knowing <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure that later. Um, what was I going on about here? Yeah, I guess we can talk about some of the stuff. Um, some people were thinking uh, you can. It's like oh, now you can lose a unit on Aether uh, on attack and still win on, on here because one of them is just an extra unit that's not like really counting towards your units. Um, as long as you have, well, no, no, no. That's because if you have one of the two that will be cycling here, then you can lose a unit. Not, oh, that's why. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, wait, no, no, that's not why. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you can kind of uh, lose a unit if you have one of these on either defense or no, on offense. 
for some reason, I think. Anyway, um, people were thinking that that's like, oh, that makes it easy, but not really considering the fact that, like I said, cav lines don't really care. They're not just going to snipe one unit. They're going to snipe, like, your whole back line. Uh, that's the idea, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what was the other thing? Getting oh, that was a, that was one thing that I wanted to point out before I before I closed out here. I don't know if it's this week or next week, but I think we're gonna like we're gonna be in we're, we're gonna be in for a really hard season. Whenever whenever the season before those changes get introduced, where you're gonna get thrown into tier thirty one or whatever or tier thirty seven or whatever it's called, um, and those tiers is gonna be really hard because. The people right now, there's a lot of people who coast at tier 21 and they don't like they barely attack or they use the auto attack just to stay above tier 20. Um, so there's going to be a lot of people at tier 21 who are just sitting there who can do better than tier 21. They just don't feel like bothering because it's not really worth their time. Um, all of those guys are going to have to get their are going to get their act together going forward. So whatever season comes before getting launched into that new tier set. Uh, a bunch of them are gonna are gonna about to get you know huge boosts in terms of like they're gonna start taking this seriously because they're gonna want to coast not in tier twenty one anymore but in tier thirty one or whatever right because you have to stay I don't remember how that tier works but um, there's probably gonna be a few of them who are gonna want to you know boost uh, their their score so that they can kind of coast up there instead of you know down here um, so yeah I don't know I think that's kind of interesting uh, you know <laughs> be prepared for some hard uh, some hard defenses uh, and, you know, some hard offenses that you're going to have to defend against. Uh, but that was the main thing was that, um, do I think I'll make it to tier 20, tier 38? Probably not. I think you have to get to tier 27 or tier 28 to make it into tier 30, whatever, right? The top 30s. And then once you're in the tier 30s that season, you have to make it to tier 37 or 38 to stay in the 30s, you get knocked down to 31 at the end, and then you have to go back up the way we do it now, where you got to get to tier 28 to, to you know, get the rewards there. Um, but then every season you get knocked down to tier 21. I think it said if you don't make it to tier 20, tier 37, you get knocked all the way down to tier 23. Um, yeah, I think that's how it worked. You get knocked down to tier 23, and then you if you make it up to tier 27 again, then you go back to 30, whatever, the next season. Um, do I think I'll be able to live <laughs> around tier uh whatever it's gonna be kind of hard it's probably not just because like your defense is now going to be excessively more important than it uh ever was and while my while i my defense has been pretty good ever since i got my plus 10 byleth and or plus 9 byleth and then the uh the the young shida uh it's still not that good because like i said it's like you can make a unit like new year's alphonse just like <laughs> dunks my whole team so hard like i have a I have the uh, the Camilla and the uh, what's her name, and the Minerva there, two green threats to help alleviate that, and they just like, they're just like toddlers, <laughs> they, they don't do anything to Alphonse, even though they have elemental advantages. Well, depending on the Alphonse, like if it's like a plus ten, if it's like a plus six or more Alphonse, there's really nothing you can do about him. Uh, he's just gonna, you're just gonna die. Um, maybe if I if I had Thrasir or uh, what's his name. Bramimon, it'd be easier, but the way my team is set up now, we'll go over it next time. But the way my team is set up now, like he can, he can just dunk on me. Uh, I don't obviously, I don't lose to bikes anymore. Uh, basically, my new threats these days, I don't lose to bikes and I don't lose to leafs anymore. These days, my threats are mainly um, Regan, of course, who just kind of comes in here, hits somebody, and then leaves. Uh, then my whole team, because basically, uh, Regan comes in, hits Camilla, and then leaves, and then. My whole team falls apart after that, right? So I need to make Camilla more tanky, basically. Uh, the other threat is, um, like I said, New Year's Alphonse and Bikes. Uh, bike, or not Bike, Bector. Uh, Bector has, like, no counters right now. I'm not sure. Like I said, maybe a Thrasir. Like, even a Thrasir has a hard time killing a, a solid Bector. And I know because I run Bector on offense, and Thrasir rarely does anything to me. Um... Yeah, it's just there's not a whole lot I can do against him, uh, and then that's also like including like just blue lances. Like I have, like tech, like Dimitri's, uh, everything like that. Just kind of, it's hard to fight against them, which is pretty good that I'm losing to like one specific thing, uh, and it just comes down to like my green units aren't strong enough. Uh, I don't have and I don't have any strong green like mage nukers. Like both of them are physical, and there's a lot of like really tanky blue physicals. 
right? So you've got like Dimitri's and, and like I said, Vector and all those other things. So I got to really kind of think about that again and see see what I got to do about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I wonder, I, I'm saving a lot of my um, stone here, a lot of this rock here, because I think we're going to get new new buildings that'll make this, that, that should help. I, I think you should be saving them too. Uh, there's, all, there's not really a whole lot you should be upgrading anyway, right? Like, the only thing I upgrade is my bolt tower on offense, and then um, a few of the, like, the, the tactics room and the panic manor, and that's about it. Um, but, like I said, I think we're going to get new buildings. I think something will change. It should, right? Because we need to, there has to be something to, to keep some of these things in check, which is, um, yeah, man, that's all there is to it. It's just, we'll see, we'll see how things go, but I think you should be saving your, your rocks unless you need, or, or your healing, that was the other one, the healing tower. It's a very important structure to be upgrading because, like, I don't lose to I don't lose to um, CC Vantage Dagger units anymore. Uh, one, I've, I've never lost to them except for one time, but that was like a long time ago. Um, you know, I, I don't, you know, like I said, I don't lose to Dagger units because no one brings them against me. Um, don't really, you know, don't know what to do there, but you know, hopefully it's because it's not a viable strategy against me and not just because no one has one against me. Cause I mean, I feel like they should be way common <laughs> considering how strong they are, but I don't know. Um, you guys can tell me if you guys get hit by a lot of dagger units, uh, CC vantage dagger strats or anything like that. Cause I have, I've like, I've only been fought by one Cronia one time and I forgot how they beat me, but they did. Uh, but I haven't like, other than that, I've never been like, I haven't fought them and I've just beaten all of them pretty easily because like, the healing tower it's hard to hit my healing tower sometimes and, and it's hard to get out and and do what you want to do um but yeah again i'm kind of rambling now and hopefully you guys enjoyed the summoning session i just wanted to recap a few things uh, give out a few thoughts on, on on what's going on um next will be a video for epic seven for summoning um yeah so uh, happy new year to all of you guys and i uh, hope you guys had a great christmas after today's summoning session uh i think i had a pretty good christmas myself <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so yeah, good luck to all of you, and uh, uh, you know, trying not to get wrecked. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can all make it into tier tier thirties. <laughs>